Is this not just the most beautiful little village? I feel like it's what England looks like in movies. If you've watched Peaky Blinders, this is actually where um, Tommy went to get Michael from when he very first found Michael, obviously it's like Polly's son. It was one of those cottages over there. Actually a school, um, that's still a school over there. Imagine going to school here. I just keep thinking how cozy these are going to be for Christmas. With like wreaths on the door. Rue really loves it here because, where is she? Oh, I bet she's gone in here. Um, yeah, come on. Yeah, Rue really loves it in there because there's so many squirrels for her to chase. This is the old mill. It's just honestly the prettiest place here. Good morning, guys. Can we believe that it is the 1st of December today? I feel like it was two minutes ago when I was doing my vlog when I was buying a few bits for Christmas and saying how organised I felt doing that at the beginning of November. And now it's the 1st of December, my house is not at all decorated and I just don't know where the time has gone. So obviously we will be decorating for Christmas today because that cannot wait, literally cannot wait a single day longer. It is the 1st of December, it must happen today. But I also wanted to use today as just like a bit of an excuse to, I don't want to say get back into routine because let's be completely honest this is not the time of year for me at least to be thinking about and worrying about the word like routine um however i have noticed that in the past month or so just because we've ended up being so busy i have stopped doing some of the things that make me feel good and it's only when i stop doing them that i realize i don't do those things just because I should or whatever. Like I actually do those things because they do make a massive difference to how I feel. Um, and that's why this morning I got up, I went straight out on my morning walk with Rue because I just, I always used to do that. And I feel like in the winter with the dark mornings, it's so easy just to stay in like the sleepy, just want to watch TV and lay around all day kind of mood. Whereas I feel like if I get up, have my cup of tea, head out. I don't know, but I feel like it just really, um, gets the day going for me and then sets it off with like some positive momentum. So that's something that I'm gonna try and do throughout December. One thing I really wanna find some time to do today is we've got a new chair, which I'll show you shortly, um, but it's just the most perfect reading chair. So I want to actually spend some time reading because I finished my last two books, my non-fiction and my fiction. What's the full name of that book? But the Harold Fry book that I told you guys about and then Conversations on Love, which by the way, I've already reread bits of that book. It's so incredible. So if you're looking for a present for someone that's into like that kind of thing, please buy Conversations on Love by Natasha Lunn. It is such an amazing book. Um, anyway, the point that I was trying to get to is that I want to spend some time actually reading today. I thought maybe we can like pick out a new book together or something. But the general gist for today is decorating for Christmas and getting back on track, let's say, with some of the habits that make me feel really good just to, I don't know, so that I feel really positive, really present, really aligned throughout this whole Christmas period. It goes by so fast and it's one of my favourite times of the year, so yeah. Guys, are you ready to venture into the cupboard of doom? I refuse to believe that everybody doesn't have one of these cupboards in their house, especially if you live in an apartment, because this is literally our only bit of storage space that's not like a wardrobe or whatever. Um, and what I remembered when I just opened this is I distinctly remember saying to Kenny, oh, let's put all the Christmas stuff right at the bottom, because that's the stuff that we use the least. So somehow I've got to navigate through all of this. This is our bag of bags. Does anyone else have one of these? Like every time we get given a, like a bag for life kind of thing, it goes into here and then we use it when we go shopping. That needs to come out. Anyway, I probably won't put you through this because it's not going to be very exciting. Um, and I'm going to try and get to the bottom and uncover our Christmas stuff. Oh, look what I've just seen down here. Games, I think that's Monopoly. Have to get them out for Christmas as well. There's just everything in here. There's snorkels, because we like snorkeling on holiday. Yoga mats. This is from, I think this was literally like my first ever video on YouTube. And I created that canvas thing that's in our bedroom now. And that's still from that. Anyway, I'm going to just get through this. Um, and then an unused puppy pad from when Rue was a baby. This needs a good sort, doesn't it? Um, anyway, I'll get into it and show you when it's all out. Okay, part one accomplished. There's a lot to go through. Another full box down there. 
So let me get this out. I'll pop it onto the table and then we can kind of like see the wood for the trees. If that's the same, is that what I'm saying? Luke, who wants to say hello? Did you guys see this morning how sweet she was having her advent calendar? It's one of my favorite bits. I feel like it's one of everybody's favorite bits in the lead up to Christmas is advent calendars. Just that little morning ritual that just reminds you like Christmas is just around the corner. So you guys might have seen that I opened my beautiful, just putting Rue down, Neil Shard Remedies advent calendar this morning. I just bought it here so that I can show you. Um, I'm so excited about this because Neil Shard Remedies is honestly a brand that my mum and I have loved just for as long as I can remember. So I'm really, really excited to be working with Neil Shard Remedies again on this part of the video. You guys know how important just making sure everything that we put into and on our bodies is like as natural as it can be and like wherever possible organic, which is just so closely aligned to like what Nail Shard Remedies are all about. So I wanted to talk to you not only about their 12 Days of Beauty and Wellbeing Advent Calendar, but also I picked out a couple of other sets that I think would just make the most gorgeous presents or like just a little treat for yourself. So I know you saw it this morning, but I just wanted to show you again how beautiful the inside of this calendar is. And then I thought, let's be cheeky and open a few of the doors together. Just to show you again, this is what I opened this morning. This is a full-sized um, moisturizer and actually six out of the 12 products in here are full-size, which is incredible. So inside day four, they've got this gorgeous pillow mix which again it looks full size to me i'll have opened this whole thing i need to put it all back and then pretend i haven't opened it to myself so day seven is this little frankincense hand cream so as you can see the advent calendar is absolutely beautiful and full of like incredible products this advent calendar is priced at 89 pounds but the products inside it are worth 187 pounds 50 which i think is amazing so then i just wanted to show you another couple of really great sets for gifting or like i said gifting to yourself so this one is the aromatherapy rituals collection which is certified organic and vegan and in here you've got an aromatic massage oil a meditation roll-on and a de-stress aromatherapy blend i thought i would just pop some of this meditation roll on just so i can have a smell i've had one of these before actually and loved it so pop that on my pulse points oh that smells so good so so good these bottles are so beautiful you can just imagine how nice they look in the bathroom for me this one is perfect for a luxurious spa like evening at home um so if that sounds like something that you love or someone that you love would love then that's a beautiful little set for that and then this one is super cute because you could hang it on your tree this is the be lovely nourishing trio um and it's all about nourishing your skin so you've got that like silky smooth skin i've just opened this one up to try some of the hand cream because my hands could definitely use it in this dry weather you can feel as you're putting it on just how thick and nourishing it is which i really love and then just to show you these are the other two little bits inside the set i could definitely use some of this now as well and what i really really love about this is that with every sale a portion of that sale goes to be friendly charities um, and we all know how important our bees are. I know that nail shard remedies would always be a go-to for my mum around the Christmas time. So it just makes me really happy that I'm able to share some of these with her as well um, and just work with a brand that I love so much. So I'll just quickly show you a couple of the bits from previous years, but more importantly, I'll show you the bits from this year. So we've just got wreaths and stuff from last year. We've got our lights, stockings, we've got wrapping paper. I also bought new wrapping paper this year which I didn't need, it turns out, because I forgot we found um, these full, like, sealed rolls in our recycling room after Christmas last year, and I just thought, they're not going in the bin, so I took them. Um, randomly, we've got crackers from last year, and then this is basically all tree decorations here. We're going out with Kenny this afternoon to get the tree, so obviously we'll decorate this afternoon. Um, and then I bought a new star this year, just because I seem to remember this one was so heavy last year, it kept collapsing. But if not, I'll just return that one. From this year, so these cushions, they're new. I really, really like these. I actually got these from Sainsbury's because they're Habitat. So I just got it when I did the food shop. They're double-sided, but I think this is my favourite side. Um, these are new this year. So they're just from Primark Home. Uh, I just thought they're nice for decorating like the table or something. This I also just could not resist when I went into HomeSense. I just thought that was just the sweetest thing. This is like a garland 
thing that I'm going to put somewhere. That's new this year from Home Sense. Um, and then what other little bits? Oh yeah, so I've, I've already shown you guys this. That's again, Primark Home. Um, and then these, again from Habitat. These are like, are they from Habitat? Oh no, I got these from Home Sense in the end. Um, and they're little light up houses that I'll probably pop up here. So last year I remembered I went for a woodland theme, but I didn't really realize how hard I'd gone on the woodland theme. And now this year I'm like, I don't know if I'm that into it, um, but we're gonna go with it. So I've got all my little woodland creatures. I think one of my family bought me that last year and the little bee that's in there. Um, we've got our reindeer, which goes by the tree. And then these are all just full of like baubles, bows and all of that kind of stuff. As I said, Kenny and I are going to pop out this afternoon and pick our Christmas tree. I did say on my Instagram stories that we might get a balsam hill, like artificial one this year. I just couldn't bring myself to do it. I just feel like then you miss out on like this whole activity of going to pick your Christmas tree. And for me, that's something that like I remember doing when we were children. What I was saying to Kenny is I imagine when we move into the new house, maybe like next Christmas or something, um, I will get myself my really nice artificial Christmas tree to make really, really beautiful for the front living room and then in the dining room slash kitchen we'll get a real tree and that can be like the one that's bright red bright green and then one day in the future that can be the tree that like the children decorate however they want to so they're going to pop out this afternoon and do that and there's a few other bits like we need to do a big food shop um but to make myself useful for now i think what i'm going to do is i might make some lunch because i'm quite hungry and then i thought i could start by putting out the pieces um, that don't need the tree to be here. So let me show you the room actually. Sorry, Rue, I need to show everyone the room. Are we having a nice cuddle? Are you excited for Christmas? Yes, you got your advent calendar this morning, didn't you? I love you. Let me show you the state of the room right now. So this whole area is a bit of a mess right now. It's just filled with advent calendars. Then the kitchen table, I mean, I don't really need to say any more. That's just full of everything. And then this is what the living room is currently like. That's our new chair, by the way. I'll go show you in a second. Um, so what I'm thinking is because we've got this huge new chair, which is really for the new house, but we've squeezed it in here. Um, I'm gonna put the Christmas tree here this year, which I think could be quite nice because we can get a wider one, which is what I'm really after. Um, and then excuse my parcel on the sofa. Um, so yeah, I'm just gonna mainly, the tree's gonna go there. We'll decorate a bit around here, maybe some stuff for the table if we've got enough stuff and then we'll do the sideboard a little bit. <laughs> no bread and pretty much nothing really in the fridge or the cupboards so I took that as my sign to make a kind of like throw everything together pasta for lunch so I used chickpea pasta and then it's got some kale it's got some tomato it's got pesto it's got vegan cheese and then I've just put pumpkin seeds on top and I'm just gonna sit here and watch this Christmas movie which I've just started <laughs> I was just looking for something sweet after lunch and I remembered I hadn't opened this advent calendar because I've got a few different ones this year. But Kenny bought me this advent calendar and it looks so, so nice. Look at his little note that came with it. To Hannah from the Grinch, because if you don't know, Kenny's not the biggest Christmas person, but we're working on him. We are working on him. Um, I've just been playing around with this one too, but I'll show you all that in a second. Um, so let's open number one. I don't know how you say this brand um, and I'd actually never heard of it until Kenny got it for me this year. But he also bought this huge box of chocolates from the same brand because he had to get free delivery. Is anyone else's boyfriend like that? Um, to be honest, I'm like that too. This was actually full. So we've been eating these, these like little caramels and they taste, well, they just taste completely not vegan to be honest. They're really yummy. Um, so that's that, Kenny's very fingerprinty iPad. If anyone saw my video where I did like the taste test of all the Christmas stuff and you saw that I bought this for Kenny, it was a huge hit. The point where I slightly regret buying it because he does not speak to me anymore, he just goes on this. Number one is next to 18. 18 is my birthday, the 18th of December. Oh no, it's 
it's not we're not off to a great start guys i'm not really a white chocolate girl but you know what try everything once we'll give it a try okay so what do we have supreme cookies and cream but yeah look how good these are oh my goodness that is so funny truffle sprout yum um best advent calendar ever actually i think kenny told me it had won some awards um and that's what i'm gonna have now actually get very far at all without the tree because I would decorate this table but it's covered in the decorations for the tree but look how good this cushion looks on our new chair it's like the perfect um colors for it so I'm really happy I bought them I really like them I just made myself a tea and I thought I would show you my little pile of like to read books because I'm going to start one of these today as I've shared with you guys before I get all of my books from charity shops so this is kind of just like books I've picked up over time that I've not yet read so a thousand splendid sons i absolutely loved the kite runner so i've been excited to read that ever since then i picked up the midnight library because i feel like everyone and their dog has read this call me by your name was my sister's recommendation obviously it's now a movie but i've not seen it yet and then i believe that find me is the um sequel to that and then again my sister actually gave me this book um i think her friend oh hi my gorgeous girl Rue's got a bit of an upset tummy today, so she's feeling... You want to lie on mum's lap? Yes. Oh, my baby. Um, yeah, so I think Sophie read this and then she's passed it on to me. And again, I know that's one that is very highly recommended. The only hesitation I've got is I really wanted to read like a wintry book. If we end up going to a supermarket this afternoon, maybe I might pick up a winter Christmassy themed one. Rue and I are now just impatiently waiting for Kenny to come home so we can go get our Christmas tree. Yeah! <laughs> I was not like of the generation of Zoella, I believe that's what she was, but I never watched her when I was younger. Um, but I just recently discovered her videos and I don't know, I really like them because I do love this dog so much. Could you imagine a cosier afternoon than this little setup with my white company cup of tea sadly not the snowflake one though because i used that this morning it does also have my lipstick on merry christmas yeah merry christmas isn't it yeah. i thought we were going to try not to be the grinch this year so merry christmas kenny what do you say back what do you say to that merry christmas hannah merry christmas hannah really Rue. Yes, we know you love your dad. Look at her. She's got an upset tummy, Kenny. We're in the car and we're on our way to get a Christmas tree. I'm still so unsure of myself in a beanie, but it's cold, so needs must. Um, and yeah, first stop, basically, I've got an idea of where I think I want to get a Christmas tree from, but the plan is just to drive there. And then if we saw somewhere on the way, we'll just stop and get a tree. And then we need to do a food shop and we're going to give Rue a run in a park somewhere. And that's the... That's the plan. This is the tree that we're gonna go for. It's right by a road, so it's really noisy. But it's just the most in proportion tree, I think. Um, and I think it will drop out quite a lot. And it's a, what did he say it was? A Nordman? No, what did he say it was? Fraser. A what? Fraser. A Fraser, which is apparently the best tree. I think it's a nice one. We're gonna go for that, I think. we could treat ourselves to some nice cheese because it's Christmas isn't it really from now on guys um, I've not heard of a few of these we have tried some of the ones from here what's this one smoky white wine oh kimchi cheese that looks cool I think this is the one that someone recommended to me though um, this I am I am not okay someone said that that's really good so might try some of that this is the aisle that I was hoping for they've got a whole um, Christmas aisle, look at these. Organic, vegan, mince pies. I think we've got to get some of them. Then they've got stuffing mix, which will presumably be vegan because everything in here is. Maybe get some of that. 
cranberry sauce, which is my favorite. And then these are all Christmas puddings. Mince pie filling. I also recently discovered that the soups are really good. Um, so I'm gonna get one of these spinach and potato soup. So full disclosure, it is now the next day because yesterday when we went and picked out our Christmas tree, the guy said he would deliver it for us and basically it ended up having to be delivered because it was too big. She's quite a big girl, I'll show you her in a minute, um, but it was too big to actually fit in the car. And then that didn't come till kind of like a bit later than we expected and Kenny and I were a bit tired and a bit grumpy. So we just thought, you know what, let's just leave it till today so that we can actually enjoy the whole process of doing the tree together. So it's now the day after, it's about six o'clock. I am personally gonna pour myself a glass of champagne and we're gonna just really enjoy this process. I'm not gonna make it stressful. I am not too bothered if the tree looks 100% perfect this year. I just want to have fun as a little family of three. Not that Rue will do much, but you know. Um, and yeah, and just really get into like being festive. So I'm gonna put some Christmassy music on. I'm just gonna pop you into a big time lapse and let's finally get this house decorated. finally got there in the end we even managed to squeeze the star onto the top I had to break the top stem because we didn't really think that part through and then we have decorated but we went very minimal because we actually didn't really have many baubles at all so if you guys remember from last year we had loads of these like little birds and just really natural bits for the tree so I just went with them and then I put on like some ones that have a bit more meaning. Um, my mum and my sister got those ones for us last year. Um, and then at the top, I can't remember who got this one, the hedgehog, um, but that's Poppy. I bought that one, our dog, my well, my parents' dog, I guess, our family dog, Poppy. And then I can't remember who got us the little hedgehog, but then right down at the bottom, we've got, well, this we call this Rue, because Rue looks like a little fox. Um, and then somewhere, there's some bumblebees, which again are from Dalesford, which I think my sister, got for us last year. So yeah, like I said, I'm not really into making this like an absolute work of art. Um, we just want it to look pretty and cute and have some nice memories on there. So that's the tree. And then the table I just finished up. I could probably do with more of these trees, but again, I'm not gonna make a stress of it. Like I think that looks Christmassy and nice and, and that will do for now at least. Maybe for Christmas day, we'll make a bit more effort. I could have at least lit the candle for you guys. I've just realized that, but anyway, you get the general gist. We've got our reindeer, we've got our Christmas cushion. Um, and then all the way over here is the sideboard, which to be honest, has been completely taken over by advent calendars. These are all advent calendars. Then obviously this is my Neil Jard advent calendar. So, you know, we've just done what we can do with the space. I love these little houses. I actually kind of wish I had like a couple more, but there's only so much you can do. Don't get me wrong. I don't think that's the most aesthetic um, sideboard, but 
that's just the way it is and that's it that's that is us all decorated at least for now for christmas and then i've just kept rue's teepee down here because i kind of feel like it looks like a teepee in the woods now which i love so i think kenny and i are actually going to head out and grab some dinner just from right near where we live there's an italian called salvi's which i went to for the first time the other day and i thought it was really yummy so i think we're just gonna go get something really quick from there I'll show you these two i thought you were having a nap bro you're awake now i will take you guys with us to dinner this is my little outfit for dinner just super chilled because it's literally downstairs um but i have taken full advantage of the fact that we don't have anywhere to walk so i've put my heeled boots on which i rarely do this is my air app that's done this to my hair it's held in quite well because this is a couple of days um but yeah let's go having a really lovely dinner okay, I'm really just napping. and I'm changed back into my Christmas pajamas these are the Napco I don't know if I said that at the start of the video but I absolutely love them they very kindly sent these to me and I have not taken them off but yeah we're about to watch a Christmas movie Home Alone 2 is what we've agreed on um and just curl up and chill and do not match at all maybe have like a hot chockey in a minute actually so I thought I would leave today's video here um but i'm really excited to be in december i'm really excited for all of the christmasy content that is coming i'm excited for my birthday which is in a couple of weeks and obviously i'll bring you guys along to that um and yeah so i hope you guys are feeling really really festive and you're looking forward to this whole holiday christmas period thank you guys so so much for watching and i will see you in the next one bye guys